All right, we are finally on our way to the Elite Four. Indigo Plateau, to be exact. I don't know why they stopped giving them names in later generations. But oh well. Like Indigo Plateau, Evergrande City. Don't know what it was in a... Sinnoh. That's great, guy. I'm still on a mission here. So I'm curious if uh, Victory Road in this game is still just a straight path, essentially. Like it was in Generation 2. Or did they change that? We can get up this just fine. I think we have all the necessary HMs. So it should be a cakewalk from here on out. Why is this person just standing here? At least make the trainer placement believable. So let's start talking strategy with the Elite Four, if I can remember all the numbers. First is Will, and he has Psychic types, which I'm not saying will be a problem, but not going to be easy. Then we have Kogun, I think is next. Poison types. Shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. Mm. I'll keep Venusaur in. I will keep Pidgeot in for Venusaur. Bruno's definitely not going to be a problem. And then there's Karen, which shouldn't be a problem. I say all this. But these uh, Leaf War battles usually go pretty by pretty quickly. Really, really short battles. Lance is going to be the only challenge. Because I still don't have anything on my team that can counter a dragon type. This is return. Huh. It's an odd move to give just to get a couple more trusts in. I don't know. I'm curious if Victory Road should be considered Victory Road or this path should be considered Johto's Victory Road. Because it doesn't have to be in a cave. All it really needs to be is just a collection of strong trainers. But unfortunately, this is the best Johto's got to offer. It provides nice enough experience before you leave for. We really don't have anything to counter a pair of Quagsire. And that should come back to bite. Go let my Paragos fall asleep. I'm not too concerned about that. I do have an awakening.
Yeah, hoping we're decently leveled for the job. Now it's just time to, you know, take this home, bring this home. Then we can put, we can cross with Generation 4 off the list. Then move on to Generation 5. Which is probably one of the most criminally underrated generations of Pokemon. Trainer using a Mary. One time I go and get an item and it's some garbage. I believe that there's a house midway through this route that some lady in there heals you, so. Which is good, a good addition, so you're not continuously going back and forth. Trying to heal up with mons. Send in Heracross for that, but it's asleep. And it is part Psychic, so. Wouldn't have been the best choice. And these Pokemon don't stand a chance. At least make it a challenge for me. Now we're glitching. Doesn't have flash fire. Just go straight for the flamethrower. Type trainer. Hmm. But it's okay to use evolved Pokemon people. Battling stage one Pokemon is only fun in the beginning of the game. Oh no, base Pokemon. I think it's classified as like what? Base, and then stage one, and then stage two. Like, Nidorina would be probably considered a stage one Pokemon. From Nidoran, from Nidoran females, base. I don't know. I think that's how it goes. I think I got that from the Pokemon trading card game when I was a kid. I 
Alright, right, right. you a fable Gyarados trainer. It's extremely cool if it's just an evolving anything. Or Mega Evolve or anything. It's just a Pokemon. Pretty forgettable Pokemon. Should have uh, gotten a grass type. I wouldn't have minded having a um, a hop it, but those Pokemon suck. That line sucks. Sure, we have a well balanced team right here. Most trainers you can just beat. And then you guess you take pictures. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna say that crit mattered. I don't think the tough version was gonna solo that one shot that Espeon. I wonder why this is considered Kanto. I think this is the house of heals you. Also, I was thinking about this earlier. But what's the difference between a remake and a remaster? Would this be considered a remaster or a remake? Because it's pretty much the same game. With better textures, with better graphics. Is that the qualification for a uh, remaster? Last place is a pretty underrated starter. Everybody always gives Charizard the praise, but Blastoise is like awesome. Which, by the way, I don't think we've ran into a Charizard user yet. We ran into an Ace Trainer that used uh, Venusaur, and now Blastoise. I wonder if Charizard's upcoming. Maybe a hit? Three Pokemon? It could be possible. See if the next Pokemon is going to be a Charizard. So I'm pretty sure it's got to be a Charizard either.
And no. Not the same. Not this person. Great. This again. Charizard trainer? Are you? It looks like you're just standing there. I feel so bad for Parasect. It's not one of the worst typings. And it's slow. You can be easily one-shotted. I don't know why people use it. Alright, Bug, Grass, and Fire. Seems to be the theme of these last few trainers. Oh, did I say Bug? I meant Grass, Water, Fire. Okay, maybe oh, I was just wrong. I was just proving it wrong. Back to the drawing board. I think I know who you're talking about. I would both roll out, but that thing might not bounce. No, I just don't want those problems. down here, increase your speed, and then stop with the death. Really? You're a good, you're a good to go type version. I'm not above releasing you this late in the game. Let's get it. This should be pretty quick. Boom, we're done. If I should go heal up or just use an item, I might just use an item. If I have one. I'll use this. I'm going to use this because we still have to go through the three road proper. I think it's still a straight shot. I don't think they would have changed that. At least they don't count your badges out like a psycho. 
I'll just go through this. I'm not pushing it this way. But, I'll just go through this and see. Uh, I think it's only like a few levels with zero trainers. Or relatively low amount of trainers. A potion. Beat them all, and they all left. You know, to go heal up. Do I do I go down? That item must be important. Eh, not really. much of a straight path, but not as uh, deep as Gen 1's or any other earlier generation. I'll just choose this one. Yeah, not as deep as the other ones, but what can you do? They could have at least flushed this place out. They added a safari zone, but they couldn't add a legitimate victory road. The last rival battle. Show me what you got. Oh, six Pokemon, wow. You might be here for a while. Hmm. Now, this is one chance to impress me. That crit didn't matter. It's a waste of a crit. That's a special for that. It's like he forgets what Pokemon I use. It'd be nice. We get to a point where uh, the trainers in these Pokemon games, at least the rivals of Pokemon that battle, the people that battle you more, they actually start learning your strategy and they start trying to counter it. It'd be a nice little addition. Make that change actually for every character, every trainer in the game. In case you lose to them. And they just learn which strategy that you will employ, so you have to change up your battle style every time you battle them. I don't know how feasible it is, but game through, get it done. doesn't feel like your rival learns anything from these battles that you guys have. Like I haven't changed my team up ever. You should know. Or at least try and expect the team that I have. This is just embarrassing. 
I'm surprised that thing was faster. Monza doesn't have sturdy, that's a magneton down. I don't have a lot of Pokemon. The Gengar, Gabra, or Alakazam, Crobat, Weavile, he'll have the pass on. Since I'm pretty sure they'd want to do Generation 4 Pokemon before the uh, national decks here. Same with Magnezone. Yeah, that's it. Victory Road down. Very underwhelming Victory Road, but hey. Now we are finally at the end. Preparing for the last gauntlet of trainers. Can't wait to put Generation 5 because I'm going to have so many more problems with that game. Mm, let's see how many I can get. 74. So let's just get 30. I think revives are more important than full restores. Mm, that should work. But yeah, I think. For me, at least, Generation 5 onward, that's when the gyms and the leaf are hard for me. Alright, we're just going to end it here before we uh, actually enter in Point of No Return. Catch you guys in the next one. We finally start completing this game. The process of completing this game. Peace.